today we're here part of the Smithsonian Between the Fences exhibit, which is traveling all across the country. But in the stop in Kentucky, it's featuring Kentucky's signature rock fences. It takes hard work to build a rock fence. Um, we call them rock fences here in Kentucky. Other places in the country, they call them stone walls or um, stone fences. Dry stone construction has four basic principles that the masons are all following, which is cover your joints, the length of your stone goes in to the fence instead of along the face, um, pack the stones, which leveling them and pinning them from the inside, and then of course if you have flat bedded stone, lay them level. Today we're actually doing a small demonstration of a rock fence, but you can see the guys working behind us here. Uh, approximately 10 linear feet, 4 feet high, and um, covering all the components of the dry stone rock fence. We started this one this morning, but uh, professionally myself, probably over the last 25 years, started off as a hobby and um, got out of control. And since then I've worked um, all over the world. Quite a few tools are required, a small hammer, maybe a 24 ounce hammer, 3 pound rock hammer, uh, some string lines, measuring tape, uh, it's pretty basic from there. You probably could pick up all your tools for less than maybe $100, maybe $200. And people laugh when I say that stone speaks to me. Uh, it doesn't speak to me with a voice, but it does speak to me with its shape and its size and uh, its texture. Uh, and I find it so easy. It, to me, it's quite therapeutic as well. <laughs> 